Cal with investmentpropertyusa.ca. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to share with you three ways that you can automate a system so that you can have property deals and investment property leads sent to your inbox every single day without you having to give up all of your time scouring through lists and ads and postings trying to find that one property that meets your criteria. So this was something that I've started in 2016 that I've been really excited about and I really want to share it with you because I think it'll help make you a more efficient real estate investor and leave more time for the really important tasks that you need to do every day like sending in offers, analyzing deals, hanging out with your family, playing squash, whatever you like to do. So before we get started, what you need to do is have a criteria in mind in terms of the property that you're looking for and have that criteria written down ahead of time. This would include the market or the area or the neighborhood that you are wanting to find properties. This would include the square footage, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms or the property type itself, the price point. Obviously, you're not going to be maybe buying a million dollar homes but you might uh, also not want to buy something that's 30,000 or less, right? So you want to know exactly what you're looking for. So once you're clear on what you want, here's the first strategy that you can put in place literally today. You're going to need a real estate agent on your side that understands your goals and preferably invests him or herself. And that might take a little bit of searching. You can go and call uh, real estate brokerages and ask if anyone works with investors specifically or invests themselves. You can get referrals from other investors in your area, but you're going to need a realtor that really understands what you're going for. And all you need to do is give them your criteria and ask them to set up an automated uh, MLS email. And what that does is every day you're going to get an email for your specific area with your specific criteria. And it's going to tell you all the properties that are currently for sale. And you can start monitoring on a day by day basis. Um, any new ones that come up, you can start tracking the days on market and really start learning your market and getting to know what's for sale in your particular area in your price range. Now to take that a step further, because sometimes these lists can be long depending on what market you're wanting to invest in, you can hire a virtual assistant and there's a lot of uh, online virtual assistant or freelancer or elancer companies out there that uh, you can hire someone and they can go through that list for you and pick out you know, the top five or ten or whatever list you're comfortable with and send those properties to you. So you don't have to waste a lot of time. You can put in offers right away on those. You can do your analysis right away without spending a whole bunch of your time just searching through endless lists. So that's strategy number one and it works really well, uh, especially if you wanted to use the MLS to find properties. Now not all the deals are found on the MLS. And so that's why I use a lot of for sale by owner websites. Um, there's a lot of local ones depending on which area you're in. You'll probably find some local FSBO websites, but there's also the national ones like Kijiji and Craigslist and eBay and Backpage and things like that. Now this, if you're doing this by yourself, this can take hours and hours of search time every single day. And obviously you don't want to be spending your time sifting through lists of properties that make no sense to your strategy, correct? So again, you can use virtual assistants and have them send you listings from say Craigslist that meet your criteria or may meet your criteria. The other thing I suggest is having a watch folder for some of these listings because a lot of times the seller will have a price in mind that they want to sell their property for but after a month or so on Craigslist they realize that they're not going to get that and they may reduce their price. And that could mean that they're a little bit more desperate to sell than they were a month ago. And maybe that's when you want to uh, send in a lower offer. I think that's a great strategy. Um, there's a lot of potential deals that can be found on places like Craigslist and Kijiji. And uh, just go for it. But have your, have your virtual assistant spend one or two hours a day going through the list because they are really lengthy and you don't want to be wasting your time there. Now just a note on the virtual assistants, you can find uh, virtual assistants overseas that will charge anywhere between, well really $3 an hour, $4, and, and it goes up of course. 
I mean, why not use that $4 a day or $8 a day to have someone else do the tedious, redundant work that you really shouldn't be doing as an investor because you've got more important roles to fill. All right, so the third strategy that you can put into place immediately is working with wholesalers. What wholesalers do is they're real estate investors and oftentimes these are people that maybe don't have enough money to purchase real estate deals themselves. So what they'll do is they'll get a deal under contract and then they'll find an investor that wants to buy that deal and they'll usually make a few thousand dollars in between. So um, they'll usually mark it up a little bit or have a fee for finding the deal for the investor. So it is a great strategy if you're new to investing or maybe all of your cash is currently tied up in other deals but you still wanna do real estate. Uh, if you're good at finding deals, you can find the investors and wholesale them. So what I like to do as a rehabber is get on the mailing lists of as many wholesalers as I can find. And one way that you can find wholesalers is go back on Craigslist, eBay, Kijiji, those kind of websites, and uh, find the ads that say, we buy houses, uh, we quit closings, we pay cash, those kind of ads. I'm sure everyone's seen them around. But uh, email or call those guys and gals up and ask if they're wholesalers and just see if you can get on their list. And you can give them the criteria that you're looking for, like the, the part of the city or area that you're looking for, the price range and they can start looking for that deal that you're looking for and help you find it. Also, if you're on their mailing list, a lot of times they'll just mail out any property that they have, any deal that they have, and they'll send it to their entire list. So obviously there's gonna be some properties that don't meet your criteria um, and you need to sift through those. So what I recommend is setting up a email address that you'll use only for wholesale deals and maybe for your realtor emails as well and have your virtual assistant get access to that address and check through the, all of the emails that your wholesalers are sending you every day and anything that meets your criteria, they can flag it or somehow alert you to that deal. And you can go through every morning and look through the ones that make sense, call up the wholesaler and get information if you need, plan to see the house, things like that. So that really just cuts down time by using your virtual assistant to look through deals and sift through lists. And I tell you, it's gonna save you hours and hours a week and give you time to analyze deals and analyze more deals. Because the more deals you analyze, the more chance you're gonna find that one that makes sense and you're gonna be able to close on it. So I hope that helps. Uh, please leave any comments or questions or if you have any other strategies uh, that you use, that'd be great if you'd share them with everyone. I'd love to hear them. And uh, please give this video a like as well. And as always, we have opportunities for other investors to get involved in some of our rehab projects in the state of Texas. So if you are interested in getting involved in investing in the U.S. and in Texas in particular, but maybe don't have the know-how or the time or the teams in place to do it yourself, or perhaps you're like myself, you're Canadian and you're looking to invest in the U.S., but you just don't know how to get started, uh, you can get going just by um, becoming a private lender for one. And you can find all information on that by going to our website, www.investmentpropertyusa.ca. And you can click on the top tabs. There's one for joint venturing and one for private lending. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next video.